In this demonstration, I'll show you the importance of using the location line properly when drawing wall elements. Uh, in this example, I've set up a couple of reference planes that illustrate setback areas where uh, a particular building element may not encroach upon. And I've hatched the area for where we're going to uh, design the building footprint. Now let's say it's uh, early in the design process and I'm very quickly sketching out some, some wall elements and I'm going to my home tab with my wall tool and uh, we're going to use a generic six wall type and just quickly draw some walls. Now notice the location line by default is set to wall center line. Many people just leave this as the uh, default location line. And what would happen? I'm going to sketch out some, some simple walls and perhaps use the align tool to align the reference plane to the outside face of this wall. Which looks fine now. Now, let's say we come back later in the design process and we say we know what these walls are uh, are going to be uh, built as and we're going to select them and we're going to swap them out for a more complex and thicker wall type let's say exterior brick on CMU when we make those changes notice the wall expands about the location line in this case the location line was the center line of the wall and now by that simple move we have um, created an offset condition that encroaches on the setback by, in this case, about over six inches. Now, how would we properly solve that condition? I'm going to show you a couple of ways. First off, when you're when you're laying out the design in the earlier phases of the project, you probably want to uh, pay attention to the location line of the walls. If you're using the wall tool and you're laying out exterior walls, doesn't matter what wall type it is, change the location line to finish face exterior. And one little tip, as you're, if you're drawing with a single line or multiple lines, uh, and you have an offset of one side or the other, using the space bar will flip that wall to either side of the location line that you're drawing at the time. So we have our walls placed. If I highlight one of the walls, you'll see that the grips are highlighted at the exterior face, indicating the proper location line. And later on, if we select these walls and swap them for a larger, more complex wall, they will correctly grow to the inside, away from the location line of exterior face. Now, what happens if you're caught in the middle where you realize this happened, but somebody else had modeled this with the improper location lines? So we're back to the condition where we have the generic 6-inch walls, but they're placed with the wall center lines. Well, you don't want to make the change first. What you want to do is select your walls go to the element properties and first change the location line. Making element property changes to the location line does not affect its position. Once you've made those changes then you can swap out the type and they'll behave as expected. 